Welcome to the Swamp Chat, brothers and sisters. I'm your host, Steve Vest. This is part two of the uh, story behind Give Me Three Steps. Uh, I left off on part one of uh, uh, the shooter had come in the front door and uh, there was a man sitting there with uh, long hair and a beard and glasses enjoying a drink. Um, uh, remember he had a shot glass in his hand and he had pointed the shooter to the general direction where Ronnie was in uh, the West Tavern. And uh, so uh, uh, Ronnie uh, was over there with Linda and they were, uh, he was trying to dance with her a little bit. And, and um, the next thing I remember was the shooter yelled out, where's that fellow with the yellow hair? Now, uh, the next thing is he found Ronnie and uh, Linda uh, together on the dance floor and he pulled out a 44 handgun, a pistol out of the right uh, boot. Uh, and it, uh, I remember that 44 had a barrel like a 357 Magnum. And uh, the handle reminded me of a German Luger. And he pointed that pistol right between Ronnie's eyes. And then he slowly moved around uh, the left side of Ronnie's body he moved around to the back of Ronnie's body and he put the pistol right up against the base of Ronnie Van Zant's skull. And, he's, and, he, and uh, Ronnie uh, said, uh, uh, he said, Mister, uh, if you just give me a few, a few steps, I, I'm out of here. And uh, then he closed his eyes and he said, you can shoot me in the ass, you can shoot me in the elbow, but I'm walking out of here. So Ronnie Van Zant slowly started walking toward the door. The man had the, the barrel against the base of Ronnie's skull. I was at about a 45 degree angle and I start slowly walking my eyes or on the shooter continually, watching what might be his next move. He had already cocked the gun when he, when he got around at the back of Ronnie's skull, he had uh, cocked the gun and they were walking toward the threshold. When they got to the threshold, the shooter uh, mysteriously uncocked the pistol. And, he, and uh, he backed off and went back into the bar, into the shadows, into the dark. Ronnie came out into the parking lot. Alan and Gary had been in the bar, but they were back out in the parking lot. I remember Ronnie walking straight up to Gary's truck. And Gary said, uh, uh, you all right, man? And Ronnie said, I'm all right. And Gary said, go home and put that in a blanking song. And uh, 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 so uh, the next thing I remember is Gene Odom shows up uh, and he comes up to me and he says, he says, Steve, ride Ronnie around. We're going to have to wrap this up. We're going to a part three. Uh, it's an exciting story. It's, it, there's a lot of information. I'll see you at the next Swamp Chat.